This is my review of the Active Aqua Quarter HP Chiller. At around $600 and the ability to cool your water down to 39 degrees, this is a phenomenal chiller that's going to last you a very long time. So Active Aqua offers a few different versions of these chillers. They have the 1 10th HP, a quarter HP, half HP, and allegedly a 1 HP unit, which I currently can't seem to find, so it may or may not exist. This particular unit is the quarter HP. As we can see here, while a quarter might not seem like a lot, this thing has a ton of power. Fun fact, these chillers were originally designed for aquariums and large fish tanks, and as cold plunging has become more and more popular, these have become perhaps the most popular chillers on the market. This chiller is actually used by the plunge company, the one that was on Shark Tank. Yeah, they use these chillers as well. They just put their own logo on them. That's how good they are. They specifically use the quarter HP chiller for their regular unit, which is definitely a testament to how good and industry standard this chiller is. So you may be asking, why not spend a little extra money and upgrade to the half HP chiller? My answer to that is that both of these chillers only go down to 39 degrees Fahrenheit. So it doesn't matter if you only get the quarter HP or the half HP, 39 degrees is the lowest temperature your ice bath will be able to go. The only real difference I can find between the chillers is that the half HP is going to get you to that desired temperature faster as it's going to just be more powerful. So if you have like a really big ice bath or a large fish tank, go for the half HP. For most people, I'd say save your money and just get the quarter HP chiller. I'll of course put the link for this and everything I talk about in the description, so be sure to check that and to like and subscribe. This video is sponsored by The Ice Brick, so if you're new to cold plunging and maybe don't want to splurge on a chiller just yet, The Ice Brick is a reusable silicon mold that makes large chunks of ice. This is a much cheaper solution than going to the store and buying bags of ice every time you want to plunge. And due to the large shape of The Ice Brick, your ice will melt much slower, taking your plunge to the next level. Unboxing the chiller. The whole thing weighs about 50 pounds or so, pretty heavy comes nicely packaged with some fittings, directions, caps for holes, and a vent. Nothing overly exciting as far as the unboxing, but as expected, I was impressed with the build quality, nice metal, hard material. It feels good, sturdy, professional, nothing more you could really ask for. And it even has some nice handles on the side to make it easy to carry. Using the chiller. The chiller is super simple to use. As far as I can tell, you don't really need any special electrical work or anything. I just plugged mine into a standard GFCI outlet and it's been working great. Turn it on with the switch on the side. Then there's this simple little interface. Basically press the set button to get it to the desired temperature and then press set again to lock that temperature in. There's also a boost function which will get your water colder faster. I have friends that leave their boost mode on at all times. For me, I just use it with new water to get the water down to temperature faster. But once the water temperature gets low enough, I'm finding that you don't really need the boost function. It really just makes a lot of noise, and I'd imagine it's gonna shorten the life of the chiller if you were to leave it on at all times. On that same note, while the chiller technically gets down to 39 degrees, I personally set mine to 42 degrees or so. I find that to get it all the way down, you're pushing the chiller to its limits, so it's kind of always working hard to maintain that 39 degree temperature. However, at 42, 44 degrees, the chiller is much more efficient. It's quieter, so it's both using less electricity and less wear and tear on the unit. So once again, I don't recommend going down to 39 degrees, maybe for special occasions. What I don't like. What I don't like about the chiller is that it just doesn't get as cold as I'd like it to. For 99% of the people, I think temps in the mid 40s are fine and going to give you like all the health benefits cold plunging really has to offer. But you know, I like to push the limits from time to time but whatever, not that big of a deal. Also, it's pretty important to filter your water before it goes into the chiller so you don't get leaves or debris stuck in there. So it is recommended to filter your water before it hits the chiller. Some competitor units have the filter built into the chiller, which is nice. This one does not. For my setup, I'm using the Mod Plunge system, which I'll put a link for in the description, but if you don't want to deal with installing a filter yourself, check out the Mod Plunge, who just does all this stuff for you. 
Lastly, it is highly recommended to keep this chiller under shade and away from elements, which is not a problem for me, but I guess it would be nice if this were outdoor rated. It of course is not. Once again, I have friends that leave it outdoors in full rainstorms and they say their chiller is perfectly fine, so apparently you can expose it to some rain, but definitely not advised or recommended. One more thing to keep in mind, and this is really with all chillers and any moving water for that matter, is you can't use it in the winter time because when the ambient air temperatures get below like 32 degrees, you run the risk of freezing water, which if the water gets frozen in the unit, it can and will destroy it. Overall. Overall, this chiller seems to be very industry standard as far as for cold plungers. For the price, you really can't go wrong, and overall, I would highly recommend going with the Active Aqua. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Make sure to check the description for everything I spoke about, and if you are a cold plunge enthusiast like myself, I cannot recommend enough checking out at Cold Plunge Memes on Instagram for hilarious cold plunging content daily. Make sure to like and subscribe, thanks.